Hi everyone, it's Karen from Early On. Today I'm going to read a story called Is Your Mama a Llama? And this is with permission from Scholastic to read this. Um, it's written by Deborah Guarino and it was illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. Is Your Mama a Llama? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds like a... But! Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddy said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of these things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, my friend Jane explained. She grazes on grass and likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a cow. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I don't think llamas behave in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama is a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. Your mo my mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur, and you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one, too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. And this is the end. Good night, Lloyd. Good night, Lynn. See you next time, everyone. Bye.